To add a design that can be used when creating a pre-decorated product, you want to be within the website settings, click store designs, where you can then upload a design. Now you can upload a design from the stock designs. So anything you've uploaded over here as a stock design can be then added and then qualify as a store design. Now why would you want to do that? Well, maybe there's some finished artwork that you want to uh, mix with other designs specifically uploaded for this site. So you can uh, mix them together and then you can do one design listing. Otherwise, you would have a store design listing and a stock design listing. And when you list stock designs, it's going to be a lot harder to just choose which designs you want to list versus if you add them as a store design, you have a lot more control over which ones you are showing. So you can add a stock design. Uh, you can create a design template, which create, uh, up initiates the template builder, uh, which is a, a little difficult to do, um, but you can absolutely build a design template for customers to use on this specific site. If you're going to do this, it's a better idea to do it here in stock designs and, and build a template there. That way you can use them on any website. If you build a template within this site, you can only use it within this site. And then the last thing, which is what you're typically going to do, is you're going to add a design uh, that you upload for this specific uh, site. So I'm going to choose a file. We're going to go look for a design. Now, if I were to upload a vector, I would be able to change the colors of the design uh, using the design tool when I'm creating a pre-decorated product or if my customer is allowed to edit the design using the design tool. So just keep that in mind. If you can upload a vector, absolutely do that. Um, if it's embroidery, you really want to be uploading a .emb file. So customers can use this decoration. I'm going to put it in the category logo. Uh, customers can change image colors. Again, this really only applies if I'm uploading a vector. And I can choose if I want it at the top or the bottom of the list. Um, I also could choose what processes can be used with this design after I've uploaded it. And configure the meta information. Um, so anytime somebody is searching on the site, it, it's going to show up. Uh, based on those uh, that meta information. So you can see here's the artwork that I uploaded. Um, I could come in, designate process, override the meta. Um, once I'm in here, I can discontinue the design. Uh, I could control how the background uh, is used. Is it automatic? Do I want to have it always black, always white, or something else? It's really that simple. Um, after you've uploaded designs, you can apply a watermark to them if you would like. And you can also come here to sort categorize where you can change the list order uh, of the design. So when the customer is shown all of the designs to choose from, obviously it's going to top to bottom, left to right uh, will be the list order, which can often be a very important, um, especially when you're having the customer first select a design, then a product to place an order. Hopefully you find this video helpful. When you have questions, just come up to the top uh, where you can search many great help articles. Click on the question mark where you can raise a support ticket with client services who is there to answer questions and help you whenever you're running into problems. Again, hopefully you find this video helpful and thank you for watching.